So with the US Open over, we get straight back into it. Tennis never sleeps. And we actually go to Mexico next week. Guadalajara, a new 1000 event of recent times. Last year became the first edition of this WTR 1000 event. This year, they've continued the trend. But there's a lot of players that are not playing, either because they withdrew because of injury or they need some extra rest because of the US Open. Let's go have a look at who actually isn't going to play this event. So starting with the players that have withdrawn due to injury or due to fatigue. Pelabadosa, she's pulled out, of course, not playing for the rest of the year due to that back injury. Coco Goff, also pulling out of this event to get some extra rest after winning the US Open, of course. And with the Asian swing not too far away, she wants to be ready for the end of the season. Jessica Bagula, the defending champion, will not play this event either, giving herself a little bit of extra rest. Of course, she's played a lot of doubles and mixed doubles in recent time. And Igish Fiontek, also needing some extra rest, pulling out of this event. And also didn't play last year at this event, didn't like the conditions as much, being high altitude and really taxed on the body. Some players that didn't even enter into this tournament. And we've got some big names here. Mukova not playing this one. Of course, made the semifinals of the US Open, but just didn't add this to her schedule. Wondrusova also not playing this event. Not putting it in the schedule. Didn't really think that going to Mexico between the US Open and the Asian Swing was a good idea. Krajikov has also pulled out another big name that has done well at 1,000 events at times this year and a very dangerous opponent for most players. She's also not playing. And Arena Sabalenka, the world number one, didn't put her name down to play this event and didn't enter it so massive names there from the top 10 when it is a 1000 event which usually are mini grand slams we're going to be missing the top four players in the world and six of the top 10 won't be playing rabak and jabur will be the top players at this event in the seedings but man we got some big names missing this one so there it is guadalajara turned out to be more of a 250 or a 500 event after what should have been a 1000 event last year it was such a hit and we had so many good players playing the only player that didn't play last year out of the top 10 was Igish Fiontech from memory. I think maybe maybe one more, maybe due to injury. But man, it's not looking the same without those top four players. But let me know down in the comments below. When do you think we'll see most of those players back? Of course, the Asian swing happens in about a week or two anyway. So they're probably all just going to make their way down to China and, and Japan and all those places that we play over the Asian swing. Of course, Beijing is back this year, which is a huge 1,000 event over the last couple of decades. Uh, last year, the last time they played, I should say, was four years ago in Beijing. So I'm expecting a lot of the players to go down there instead. But let me know in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most from Guadalajara? But it's not looking the same without those big names.